So, the stitch brush is awesome, but you're lazy. Not a problem. Add a fill layer, right click, add a black mask, right click the mask and add a generator. Then under generator, click auto stitch. You're done. Now it will default to automatically stitching along the outlines of your UV islands. But if you wanted to instead auto stitch based on the sharp angles of your mesh, change mask mode to curvature. And now you can see the stitches have automatically been applied where the wear and tear would normally be seen. Now it does have a few values that you can control. Combining smoothness and position allows you to move the stitches where you want closer or farther to the edges. The higher stitch size, the bigger the stitches. The higher the width, the fatter the stitches. The higher the length, the longer the stitches. The higher the roundness, the less rectangular the shape becomes. And the more the jitter, the more sporadic and random the space in between each stitch becomes. If you want to use a specific alpha for your stitch shape, just go down under custom input, Pick your shape, then go up and change mask mode to custom. If you want to control where the stitches are with your paintbrush, add a new paint layer, drag it underneath, right click, add an anchor point, then click your paint layer, and under custom input, set it to your anchor point. And now you can brush and stitch positions wherever you want. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.